The year is 2020-4. Create a 10-minute epic YouTube video about Jack Corrigan's stories set in late 2024, showcasing his origin in Rise of Xamanark and his various lives, including being the representative for Nay 4 t Fide Cider, and his ability to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with pirates. This video should be engaging and epic, suitable for a YouTube audience. The hundreds of El Tayar native are Afrimatrasistative for mate. Look up any say. Instances of Jack Kaur on Zadrik Shu, JDM, he is every old man's favorite, old experience, not a tech or a magician, but proves practical HS its place. NVIDIA has played him in these theater sort. Do a Jack story where he is handed a magically rigged half of two dueling pistols, one that will not strixker nor discharge, the other silver black one, well, it is an auto crical hit, I've read all the rules, there is nothing to stop Jack getting his magical techno lighter that has gears and torsio pusido piezo. Ite the pan and throw the pistole. Boom. The world will be getting that from introducing EE anon. ON0. The mouse. The world has seen its share of changes, yet some things remain constant. Legends never truly die. They echo through time, whispering of courage, wit and resilience. One such legend is Yak Corrigan. Jack's name is spoken with reverence in taverns and sung by bards. He is a hero for the people, a symbol of hope in uncertain times, but every legend has a beginning. Jack's story starts long before the word legend was ever uttered in connection with his name. It begins in the heart of a tumultuous event known as the Rise of Xamanark. Little is known about Xamanark before its sudden emergence. Some say it was a forgotten island shrouded in mist and myth. Others claim it rose from the depths of the ocean, a bastion of ancient power awakened. Whatever its origins, Xamanark's arrival heralded a period of chaos and change. It was during this turbulent era that Jack Corayan's legend was forged. Xamanark was not a welcoming place. It was a land shrouded in mystery and danger, a place where the very elements seemed to conspire against those who dared to approach. The island's reputation was one of foreboding, a place whispered about in hushed tones by sailors and adventurers alike. Its shores were treacherous, guarded by jagged cliffs and unpredictable tides. The waves crashed violently against the rocks, sending sprays of salt water high into the air. The coastline was a maze of hidden coves and deadly reefs, a natural fortress that kept the island's secrets well protected. The island's interior was a labyrinth of dense jungles and volcanic peaks, teeming with strange creatures and whispered dangers. The jungle was a living, breathing entity, its canopy so thick that it blocked out the sun in many places. The air was thick with the scent of exotic flowers and the calls of unseen animals, creating an atmosphere of both beauty and menace. It was here, amidst the chaos and uncertainty, that Yak found his purpose. He was drawn to the island not by a sense of duty or obligation, but by a deep, unquenchable curiosity. The mysteries of Xamanark called to him and he answered with a determination that few could match. Not much is known about Jack's early life. He was a man of few words, preferring to let his actions speak for him. Some say he was born to a family of sailors, his childhood spent on the open sea. Others believe he was an orphan, raised by the very elements that he would later come to master. Some say he was a sailor, caught in the storm that brought Xamanark to light. The storm was unlike any other, a tempest that seemed to have a will of its own. It was during this storm that Jack first laid eyes on the island, its dark silhouette looming ominously on the horizon. Others believe he was drawn to the island, guided by destiny or perhaps just a thirst for adventure. The island's call was irresistible, a siren song that promised both danger and discovery. Jack was not one to shy away from a challenge and the island presented the greatest challenge of all. Whatever the truth, Yak Korajan was not content to simply survive on Samanak. Survival was not enough for him. He sought to thrive, to conquer the island's many challenges and make its secrets his own. He was driven by a relentless desire to understand the island, to uncover its hidden truths and unlock its mysteries. He sought to understand it, to navigate its dangers and unlock its secrets. The island was a puzzle, each piece more intricate and dangerous than the last. Jack approached it with the mind of a scholar and the heart of an adventurer, determined to leave no stone unturned. His journey was fraught with peril. Every step he took was a gamble, every decision a test of his resolve. 
The island threw everything it had at him, from treacherous terrain to deadly creatures. But Jack faced each challenge with unwavering determination. He faced mythical beasts and cunning traps, navigating treacherous landscapes and unraveling ancient riddles. The island was a living, breathing entity, its dangers ever-changing and unpredictable. Jack's journey was a constant battle of wits and will, a test of his endurance and ingenuity. Through it all, Jack relied on his wits, his courage, and an uncanny knack for turning adversity to his advantage. He was a master of improvisation, able to find solutions where others saw only obstacles. His resourcefulness was his greatest weapon, allowing him to overcome even the most insurmountable challenges. He was not a magician, nor a warrior of unparalleled strength. He had no special powers or supernatural abilities. What he had was a keen mind, a brave heart, and an unyielding spirit. These were the qualities that set him apart, that allowed him to face the island's dangers head on. He was a survivor, a man of the people, who faced each challenge with a level head and a resourceful spirit. Jack was not just an adventurer. He was a leader, someone who inspired others to face their own fears and challenges. His journey on Samanark was not just a personal quest, but a testament to the power of human resilience and determination. Word of Jack's exploits began to spread beyond the shores of Xamanark. His daring deeds and clever strategies were whispered in the winds, carried by the waves and echoed in the hearts of those who heard them. Travelers carried tales of his bravery and cunning, turning him into a folk hero. Around campfires and in the dimly lit corners of taverns, stories of Jack's adventures were shared, each retelling more grandiose than the last. His name became synonymous with courage and wit, a beacon of hope and inspiration for many. This notoriety eventually reached the ears of the Nave Fort Fide Cider Company, known for their bold flavors and even bolder marketing. The company, always on the lookout for a figure who could embody their brand's adventurous spirit, found in Jack the perfect match. They saw in Jack a kindred spirit, a man who embodied the adventurous spirit of their brand. His relentless pursuit of new horizons and his fearless nature mirrored the essence of Nave Fort Fied's philosophy. The company believed that Jack's image would not only enhance their brand, but also inspire their customers to embrace their own adventures. Jack, ever practical, saw the partnership as a way to fund his explorations and continue helping others. The financial support from Nave Fort Fied allowed him to venture further and deeper into uncharted territories discovering new lands and aiding those in need along the way. He became the face of Nave Fort. Fied, his image appearing on posters and tankards across the land. His likeness was everywhere, from bustling city markets to quiet village squares, each poster and tankard telling a story of adventure and bravery. His adventures, often embellished in the retelling, became synonymous with the cider's unique flavor and rebellious spirit. The tales of his exploits were as much a part of the cider's identity as its bold taste. Each sip, a reminder of the daring and excitement that Jack represented. This partnership was more than just a business arrangement for Jack. It was a symbiotic relationship where both parties thrived. For Jack, it was an opportunity to reach more people, to share his stories and his spirit of adventure with a wider audience. It was a chance to connect with people, to share his stories and inspire others to embrace their own adventures. He became a storyteller, a mentor and a friend to many, his tales sparking the imaginations of young and old alike. He travelled from town to town, hosting tasting events, sharing tales of his exploits and always lending a helping hand where it was needed. These events were more than just promotional activities. They were gatherings of community and camaraderie, where people came together to celebrate the spirit of adventure. His genuineness resonated with people. They saw in him a reflection of their own dreams and aspirations, a reminder that adventure and kindness could go hand in hand. He wasn't just selling a product, he was sharing a part of himself. A taste of the excitement and camaraderie he found in every bottle of Nefora, Fide, each toast, each cheer, was a celebration of the adventurous spirit that Jack embodied, a spirit that lived on in every drop of cider. As Jack stood on the cliffs of Xamanark, looking out over the vast ocean, he knew that his journey was far from over. The partnership with Nave Fort feared had given him the means to continue his adventures, but it was the people he met and the stories he shared that truly fueled his spirit. His legacy was not just in the tales of his bravery or the cider that bore his image. 
but in the countless lives he touched along the way. Each adventure, each story was a testament to the power of courage, kindness, and the unyielding human spirit. And so Yak continued his journey, ever the adventurer, ever the hero. With each step, he carried with him the hopes and dreams of those he had inspired, a living legend whose story was still being written. The sun set over Kamenak, casting a golden glow over the village and the sea, but for Jack, it was just the beginning of another adventure, another chapter in his ever-growing legacy. Jack's fame, however, was not without its drawbacks. His rise to prominence had been meteoric, and with it came a host of new challenges and adversaries. His reputation attracted unwanted attention, particularly from those who sought to test his mettle or exploit his fame for their own gain. Whispers of his exploits spread far and wide, drawing both admirers and adversaries. Among these challengers was a notorious pirate captain known as Blackheart Bartholomew, a ruthless raider who terrorized shipping lanes and boasted of his invincibility. Bartholomew's name struck fear into the hearts of sailors and merchants alike. Bartholomew, hearing tales of Jack's bravery, saw him as a threat to his own legend. The pirate captain's ego could not tolerate another figure rising to challenge his supremacy on the high seas. He challenged Jack to a duel, a public spectacle designed to solidify his own dominance and humiliate the cider-selling hero. The challenge was issued with great fanfare, ensuring that news of the impending duel spread quickly. The duel was to take place on Bartholomew's ship, a monstrous galleon bristling with cannons and crewed by hardened cutthroats. The ship itself was a symbol of Bartholomew's power and ruthlessness. The stakes were high, not just for Jack, but for the countless people who had come to see him as a symbol of hope. The crowd gathered, their faces a mix of concern and anticipation, knowing that the outcome of this duel could change everything. Despite the danger, Jack accepted Bartholomew's challenge. He knew that this was more than just a personal battle. It was a fight for the very ideals he stood for. He knew that to back down would not only tarnish his own reputation, but also embolden Bartholomew and his ilk. The weight of his decision pressed heavily on his shoulders, but his resolve remained unshaken. He would face the pirate captain, not with brute force, but with the same cunning and resilience that had seen him through countless challenges before. Jack's mind raced with strategies, each one more daring than the last. He knew that sometimes the greatest battles were won not with swords and cannons, but with wit and a little bit of luck. Jack's confidence stemmed from his ability to think on his feet and adapt to any situation. As he prepared for the duel, Jack reflected on his past victories. Each one had taught him valuable lessons, and he knew that this encounter would be no different. The memories of his previous triumphs fueled his determination. The day of the duel arrived, and the seas were as tumultuous as the emotions of those watching. The pirate ship rocked in the stormy waters, a fitting backdrop for the epic confrontation that was about to unfold. Jack stepped onto Bartholomew's ship, his eyes meeting the pirate captains with unwavering resolve. The crew watched in silence, their breaths held in anticipation of the clash between two legends. The duel began with a flurry of movement, swords clashing and sparks flying. Jack's agility and quick thinking allowed him to dodge Bartholomew's powerful strikes, turning the pirate's aggression against him. With each passing moment, it became clear that Jack's strategy was working. He outmaneuvered Bartholomew at every turn, using the pirate's own strength and overconfidence to his advantage. The crowd erupted in cheers. As Jack gained the upper hand, the pirate crew, once confident in their captain's invincibility, now watched in disbelief as their leader faltered. In a final decisive move, Jack disarmed Bartholomew. But instead of delivering a fatal blow, he extended a hand to the fallen pirate, offering him a chance at redemption. This act of mercy solidified Jack's status as not just a hero, but a legend. As Jack walked away victorious, the crowd's cheers echoed across the sea. The sun set on the horizon, casting a golden glow over the water, a fitting end to a day that would be remembered for generations. Jack knew that this was just one of many challenges he would face, but he also knew that with each victory, he grew stronger and wiser. The journey ahead was long, but he was ready for whatever came next. With the wind at his back and the open sea before him, Jack set sail once more, ready to face new adventures and continue his quest for justice and honor. The legend of Yak would live on, inspiring others to stand up against tyranny and fight for what is right.